Okay, Nifel, we just came from uh, uh, Auto Fight Lab of Athens. And I would like to ask you to give us one uh, story about your product. How did you start fixing this mag magic product? And explain to us what is your you know, tendency to, to offer to the people. Okay. Um, the way the product came about was maybe 12 or 18 months ago, John Franks, the owner of Cord Electronics, uh, was talking to uh, a guy from Finland. Uh, and he explained that there was a digitally encoded stream on the Bluetooth wave. So Bluetooth, which is normally a very low fidelity analog transfer of data uh, on, on the Bluetooth wave itself, has embedded in the corners of the Bluetooth wave a very high quality, uh, low jitter, high bit rate transfer of digital audio. And till now, um, Sony Ericsson and Nokia have not done anything with this signal. So uh, Cord Electronics got on the focus group with this Finnish company and did the front end work to de-encrypt this digital stream of Bluetooth information for digital audio. The net result of this is we can transfer from anything that's Bluetooth enabled product, be it a, a PC or a mobile phone or a PDA, up to 24-bit data. So if you are using Flack or iTunes or Winamp or Windows Media Player, it does not matter because the system is completely non-proprietary. So if you have a mobile telephone, you simply connect via Bluetooth and then any audio is transferred in its raw data form. So the ones and zeros are transferred from, in this case, the PC over into this device, the Cordnet Gen. So this is uh, essentially a, a Bluetooth receiver or transceiver. So it is two directional. So for this reason, it has up to 100 meter range and it does not suffer dropout, unlike Wi-Fi. So this is sending a signal into this to send out the two phono outputs into any domestic hi-fi. Okay. Also, it is sending a signal back from the Cordet Gem to the Bluetooth transceiver, so that it has a, a perfect lock. So unless you go out of the 100 meter range, you will not lose the signal lock. Mm -hmm. This is it. Okay. Furthermore, one, two more interesting facts. The first is that when you are processing data onto a PC, on solid state, when it is played back, the jitter levels are much, much lower than a CD. More importantly, because we can transfer up to SA CD quality, we can not just be a little bit better than CD, mm -hmm. we can drastically outperform CDs with commercial chipsets. This being said, we are also demonstrating here the red reference CD player. So this is fundamentally very different to a standard CD player in the respect that we are using discrete best technology, upsampling, clock syncing, and very expensive components like Philips Pro 2 Max and our own discrete NAT mm -hmm. choose field programmable gate arrays. Mm -hmm. Now inside these field programmable gate arrays we can program them to be whatever we like, so a computer or a calculator. Obviously in this instance we program them to be a digital to analog converter. The main advantage of this particular DAC over, a, say, a Burr Brown, is, uh, which is a, a three millimeter piece of silicon, a, a commercial chip, is that we can get approximately 30 dB more low-level information. So we have a fairly simple test which we do at Cord, where we would take a commercial DAC, spin in a digital word, reduce the output voltage, and measure it. The net result is you go from zero dB maximum output on a commercial chip like a Burr Brown go down to about minus 95 dB and then go offline, the line would start to wiggle, so you stop resolving information. If you do the same test with the DAC that is in the red reference, you start at 0 dB, maximum output, and go down to 95 dB where the bird round goes offline, through 95, through 100, 105, 110, 120, very, very and at very minus 128 dB, yeah. you'll go offline. Yeah. So you literally have 30 dB more usable data than any commercial chip on the market. Mm -hmm. Last but not least, the red reference is working with an upsampler. So unlike a Burr Brown, which has a tap length filter of 262, the red reference has 4096 tap length filter. So it's around 10 times more accurate than a commercial chip. Very interesting information, sir. Thank you very much. No problem, my pleasure.